Hello my dear friends and welcome to Study IQ. I am Joyce Joy and today in this lecture we will discuss about SEBI's order on NSE. So let us first understand about the current affairs and then we will come to a brief understanding of SEBI and NSE. So coming to the current affair, the Securities and Exchange Board of India that is SEBI ordered the NSE National Stock Exchange to pay a fine of 1000 crore rupees over certain irregularities so this is the current affair and based on this we will see what is a scam all about and what is the authority of sebi and we will also understand how significant is the order of sebi and how nse has broken the rules of sebi and how it will protect the individual investors as a whole so let us first understand briefly about sebi or securities and exchange board of india so sebi is securities and exchange board of india and it is a government established authority which started in 1988 and SEBI controls the security market in India. So Indian parliament has passed the SEBI act of 1992 in 1992 and therefore it is a statutory body. So this is a statutory body because this comes under the act of the parliament. Now the SEBI functions to fulfill the requirements of three categories. The first one is issuers. Issuers means those companies that issue shares the second category is investors which means that sebi works for safety and the supply of precise and adequate information for the investors to make mature decisions regarding their investments and thirdly it also protects the interest of the intermediaries so it provides a competitive professional market for the intermediaries so these are the three category for which sebi serves its purpose now the headquarters of sebi is located or situated in mumbai and the regional offices in four places ahmedabad kolkata chennai and delhi now coming to the composition or the administration of sebi it is administered by board of members and the board of members consists of a chairman which is nominated by the central government secondly there are two members from the finance ministry Third, one member representing the RBI and fourthly, five members nominated by the union government. So if we look at the composition, we will see that it is predominantly dominated by the representatives of the central government. So chairman itself is nominated by the government of India or the central government. Two ministers again from the finance ministry which also based on the recommendation of the central government and one member from the RBI and five other members who are nominated by the Union Government of India. So it is predominantly controlled by the Union Government itself. Now if you look at the functions or the objectives of SEBI, they manage the securities market in India, they analyze the trading of stock and the security market is being protected from any malpractice and they also control the stock brokers and sub stock brokers and it also provides education regarding market to the investors to enhance their knowledge and to make better investment decisions so this is in brief about sebi sebi is securities and exchange board of india it's a very important topic for your upsc preliminary examination so hope you have an idea about what is sebi now coming to national stock exchange what is national stock exchange so national stock exchange is a leading stock exchange in india it is the second largest in the world by number of traders in equity shares so considering the number of traders in equity shares it's the second largest in the world itself and nse has a fully integrated business model which comprises of exchange listing trading services clearing and settlement services indices market data feed, technology solutions financial education offering etc so nse also oversees the compliance by trading and clearing members and listed companies with the rules and regulations of the exchange so this is briefly about nse you must understand that it's a leading stock exchange in india and it is also the second largest in the world in terms of number of traders so these are the important points for your preliminary examination now let us move on with the topic 
I hope you have an understanding about NSE and SEBI now. So let us start. But before that, this is our channel Study IQ, and we are providing pen drive courses for various competitive examinations, including SSC and Bank courses, UPSC optionals, SSC JE courses, teaching examination, railway examination, defence examination, RBA Grade B, NABARD Grade A, UGC NET, UPSC Civil Services examination, CLAT exams. for various state pscs and also for various professional courses you can visit our website www.studyiq.com for any enquiry you can also call to any of these numbers for more information so let us start let us understand about the current issue with sebi and nse so now sebi has ordered that national stock exchange of india has to pay a fine of 1000 crore rupees over certain irregularities so let us first understand what is a scam all about so let us understand what is meant by co location so co location means that the brokers can operate closer to their servers upon payment of additional fees so it means that the brokers secure certain advantage over others due to proximity to exchange servers as data transmission takes less time and in the year 2014-15 a whistle blower complained to the sebi that the brokers were abusing the co-location facility and this was done with the consent of certain nsc top officials and during that time nse was using the tick by tick server protocol tick by tick server protocol is used to relay the data to the members so what is tbt server and how does it differ from normal data protocol the normal data protocols send data to all the users connected on the network at the same time but the tbt server transmits in a sequence of orders received so the user who gets the access to the system first will receive the data earlier than the other people and under the co location services the brokers get the access to the system first and therefore they will receive the data first than other investors so a certain set of brokers in consultation with the nse top officials got the first access to the nse servers and this gave them a advantage so this was the scam and now coming to the sebi's order now sebi has ordered a fine of rupees 1000 crore so now sebi has found out certain unfair trading practices and sebi has found out certain internet service providers like opg securities gkn securities way to wealth along with certain internet service providers like sambark infotainment involving in unfair trading practices so opg gkn way to wealth these are all some of the top brokers and along with them certain internet service providers were also found as guilty of unfair trading practices so these stock brokers like opg jkn way to wealth etc they had unfair access to the nse servers before the other investors got an access so because they got the first access it helped them to execute the orders fast and along with the stock brokers sebi has also charged several nse top officials for colluding with the brokers and not following the appropriate protocols and two former nse chiefs have been ordered by sebi to pay back a part of their past salaries as punishment and also the nsc has been slapped to the fine of 687 crore plus interest and also the nsc national stock exchange cannot access capital markets for another 6 months and its initial public offering ipo will be delayed till the year end so these are the actions taken by sebi in this regard now let us understand how did nsc break the rules because the nsc supervisory role was not properly conducted by nsc so for supervisory negligence the sebi has charged the nsc the supervisory negligence is that some of its broker clients gain the preferential access to certain market data and this violates the sebi's principle of not allowing information asymmetry among the participants and this affects the market fairness So this is for what SEBI has charged NSE, and now let us understand how significant is the move of the SEBI. So SEBI, as we said, it's a regulator of stock markets in India, and 
many millions of retail investors believe that the stock exchanges provide a level playing field to the players so this is the belief of the investors so sebi is responsible for protecting the interest of the investors so considering this as the protector of the interest of investors the financial penalty on nsc is a welcome regulatory action by sebi and this will ensure that the small investors will retain the confidence in the fairness of the institutions like sebi and this will enable a free market economy so definitely the move of sebi is very significant this will regain the confidence of the investors and the, the investment environment will be more fair and equitable you can find the pdf of this lecture on our website www.studyiq.com you can also write to me at joycy.studyiq@gmail.com for any of your queries and also please follow my facebook page for more video